Leaders in Springfield are still searching for ways to improve race relations. Governing Magazine had found the city one of the most segregated in our state. It said the income disparity between black and white families is one of the highest in the country. WCI3's Gabrielle Franklin is live from Springfield now. And so what are leaders proposing that the community does? Well, Jennifer, community leaders say one of the best ways to end systemic issues in society is by letting your voice be heard during the municipal elections. A place where you can really be heard and drive changes in policy is at the ballot box. That's really where it all starts. Sagamon County Clerk Don Gray is encouraging voters of all backgrounds to vote in the consolidated elections. Because there's a this lot at stake in who represents you in the, the future. The median income of a black household in Springfield is that of 42% of a white household in Springfield. A number of leaders in the black community, like Kelly Hurst, say is reflected in everyday society. Our school districts, I think our housing, I think transportation, our city government is responding to that and that that's why we look the way we do. Hearst says choosing leaders that are willing to examine Springfield's landscape is paramount in fixing the problem. We have to look at what's happening statewide. We have to look at what's happening locally in our community. And any person with any power at any of those levels should be able to affect it. We just have to make sure that they're all on board with affecting that change. Clark Gray says he looks forward to continuing to work with groups to ensure that everyone that can vote does vote. Elections office works closely, closely with all interest groups in elections. Uh, in, in addition, we do see um, groups that are, are focused on uh, more minor, minority neighborhoods, such as the NAACP, the Faith Coalition for the Common Good. Now, Clerk Gray says that voter turnup is up 80 percent from this time, the last time the consolidated elections came around. And of course, if you haven't cast your ballot yet, you still have tomorrow to come out to the polls to do so. Jennifer. All right. Thank you so much. Now, this year, the Sangamon County Clerk says there is an influx of women running for office. The county clerk says of the 317 candidates, 125 are women. Dozens are running for seats across central Illinois in this consolidated election. They're running for titles ranging from mayor in places like Leland Grove to village trustee in places like Riverton and Rochester. Sangamon County is seeing a wave of women's empowerment with all of the female candidates in this election. The county clerk says it is encouraging for members of the community to see. We've been seeing more women engaging the electoral process. That's certainly been the case here in Sangamon. It's a nice development to see that. Obviously, more diversification uh, is, a, is a really great thing for our democracy. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how things transpire here in election evening. Sangamon County races with women competing include aldermen in wards 2 through 8.